Hello and welcome back to another video and today we're gonna create a shooting system. So here we have the top down controller scene that we made in a past video and we're gonna now create a cube that's gonna represent our gun. We can call it gun. We're gonna uh, color it black and then we're just gonna make it look like a gun. Then we're gonna go into our top down controller and in here we're gonna need to create a new function called private void look at mouse so basically we're gonna make the player rotate towards the mouse so we want a vector 2 mouse position and then we're just gonna say transform.up mouse position minus new vector 2 and then uh, tran we want to have our transform dot position dot x and then transform dot position dot y and that should be it then we just need to put this into the fixed update and now if we go back to unity we can now see that we are rotating towards our mouse like this so let's now create the gun system so this is a gun system that I've used in the past and it's inspired by this video and so the first thing we want to do is create a fire fire point and then we're gonna create a gun script so the first thing we want to do is to have some variables for our gun. So yeah, that's a lot of variables, but uh, the damage variable, it's pretty self-explanatory. And then we have some floats for some spread, some reload time, some shooting force, some mag size. And then if the gun is automatic and if we want to auto reload it when it's, uh, it doesn't have any bullets left then we have a reference to our fire point and then our bullet prefab and then what is the enemy. Then we have just some private variables for the amount of spread and then we have how many bullets we have left in the magazine. Then we just have some shooting reload and can shoot bulls so yeah you can copy it right now and now what we're gonna do is to have a private void start and in here we're gonna just reset our bullet left then we're gonna set can shoot equals to true and then in update we're gonna check for if the gun is automatic because then it's a different fire mode and we're gonna do so shooting equals input dot get get key so if we are holding down the key and if the gun isn't an automatic gun we are gonna need to tap the gun to shoot it so get button down key code dot mouse get key down and then we can just say if can shoot and if shooting and we are not reloading and we have some bullets left it's more than zero then we're gonna shoot we can create that new function here the input dot get key down so if our key is R then we're gonna reload then we're gonna and of course we aren't already re reloading just create we can generate this here move this down so we have like that 
and then we can just check if we have auto reload enabled. Gonna use set can shoot to false, so we can shoot while we are shooting, and then we just gonna subtract our bullets left. Then we are going to calculate our spread. And we're gonna set amount of spread equals random dot range minus spread and then a spread. Then we are gonna say quintillion rotation after spread equals quintillion dot Euler fire point dot position dot x uh, fire point dot y fire point dot z plus amount of spread then we are going to spawn our bullet so we're gonna have a reference to a bullet copy we're gonna instantiate bullet prefab five point dot position and then uh, we're gonna say quintillion dot identity then we are going to say bullet uh, copy dot transform dot rotation equals root after spread then we're gonna just add some force Reddit body 2D add force fire point dot up multiplied by shoot force force dot impulse then we are just gonna create a new private void reset shot here we're just gonna say can shoot equals true. So this is just a convenient way to reset our uh, our shoot uh, can shoot uh, bull. And in here we can uh, put in our shooting cooldown. So an invoke. Uh, calls a function after a certain time so our cooldown here and now our shooting function should be done actually so we can move on to our reload and it's gonna be pretty simple we're gonna say reloading equals true and then we're gonna invoke like we did up here finish reload and set our reload time and we're gonna create this new function and we're gonna say reloading equals false and then bullets left equals mag size and this should be it this is the uh, system that I used in video that I posted a while ago so yeah let's test this out so now in unity we need to have a bullet prefab so I'm gonna create a, uh, a square call it bullet I'm gonna add a read it body 2d because this is a required and then I'm gonna set the gravity scale to zero I'm gonna uh, have the color yellow I'm gonna set scale to something let's do something like that I'm gonna turn it into a prefab and then I'm gonna delete it from the scene and then I'm gonna put it into the bullet prefab then I'm gonna take our fire point and put it into our fire point variable and then we can just choose what type of weapon we want kind of a, a automatic weapon like something like a AK-47 I'm gonna say should be like that like that we can turn this up yeah so thanks for watching this video 
if you like the video you can subscribe uh, follow me on Twitter and all of that stuff like the video for more tutorials similar to this one and I will see you in the next one goodbye